I'm Bob Weibel with DeerHunterFan.com TV, and I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and show you one of the products that we use, and it's Buckhead Deer Feed and Mineral Attractant. Um, I'm out here at one of Ridge Runner's Guide Services properties, and uh, this is the product that he uses to uh, grow big deer and maintain a healthy deer herd. Um, we're on a ridge where we're going to, we've added a new site. It's a real simple process, three-step process. Um, that's what makes it easy for these guys to come out here and, and locate these sites and uh, do a good job putting them together. Um, we came out here, we had a lot of deer traffic on this ridge this year, and uh, we just set up a new site. Um, it's December, most of the hunting out here is all done, so uh, especially for this piece of property. So uh, we wanted to put a new site out here and put a camera out here. So, But the buck ear deer feed and mineral attractant is real simple. You just like I did right here, you just clean off a three foot spot, show the dirt just a little bit, and then just pour it pour it right on top of that dirt. Um, it's kind of wet out here, but normally in a dry season, you know, if it's really dry out, just dump one 20 ounce bottle of water just over top it, just to get the aroma going, especially on a new site. And then just, you know, freshen it up as you need it. It'll be more and less, you know, uh, depending on the site, depending on the amount of deer travel. Um, the one thing that you need to do is to make sure in your state that it's legal. You know, there's different regulations for every different state and different products that can and cannot be used. Just make sure it's legal in your state. It is legal here in Kansas and in Arkansas and the other places that I hunt. So it's really made a good partner for us to, you know, monitor our deer herd, grow a healthy deer herd right down to the does that, you know, uh, when they're nursing their fawns in the spring. We keep it out 24-7, 365 days a year. Uh, so go to Buck Yeah's website at buckyeahoutdoors.com, order yours, put it out, and as you can tell from the deer on our website at ridgerunnersguideservice.com, it does a really good job to maintain a healthy herd and uh, grow big deer. So that's it. It didn't take but a couple of minutes to put it out. Um, we'll get a camera on it and just see what we've got coming. Well, Thanksgiving morning. Uh, this is my favorite time to hunt. Uh, it's kind of a family tradition. We all get to come out here and hunt for a couple hours Thanksgiving morning. Uh, we're blessed to have our wives do the cooking and stuff for us, so I get to come out and hunt a little bit. Uh, it's been the first chance I've got to really come out and hunt this year uh, in Arkansas and Kansas and stuff. Um, We've been out scouting, setting stands with Ridge Runners Guide Service, so, and they've been great uh, to let me see the other side of the coin, to see what it's like to get people to come out and not just hunt, but to take them in, and I've met some great people. So it's been a fun year for me. Um, he's not a real big buck, I could tell by looking at him, but uh, he is a legal buck here in Arkansas. So um, we had a couple of coal bucks on this place that needed to go anyways. So, uh, what better way Thanksgiving morning to pass on the tradition and, you know, be grateful for the, the things that we have is, you know, to get out here and hunt a little bit. So, we're going to go over and take a look at him and see what we've got and uh, get him out of here and then go back and celebrate with our families. It's been a long season for me. I've been fortunate enough to hang out with the guys over at Ridge Runners Guide Service and be on the other side of the coin for a change. Uh, I got to spend all summer. Teresa and Jay were great to me. They uh, let me come along, show how they set their stands, 
how they get their clients, what kind of scouting they do, where they spend as much time all summer trying to get their clients on deer, and they let me be a part of that this year. So with that being said, I wasn't able to get out as much and hunt as hard as I wanted to this year. But uh, I'm back here with my family. Uh, it's Thanksgiving morning. It's a tradition in our family for us to get out every Thanksgiving morning and hunt for at least a couple of hours. And uh, thankful for every chance we get to get out with our family and hunt. Uh, not the biggest buck by any means for anybody's standards, but you know what? That's okay. We've all harvested bucks, small, big, large, and it's not about the size of the horn sometimes. It's the fact that we're thankful to be able to get out here, be able to hunt, be healthy enough to hunt, and uh, and enjoy what we do. It's actually a part of what we do. It's it's just not a hobby for me. So uh, thanks to Ridge Runners Guide Service for letting me be a part of them this fall and see what the you know see what it's like to be on the other side and see how passionate they are making uh, people's dreams come true. In the meantime, I was able to come home, harvest one of our coal bucks off one of our farms. And what a way to do it. Thanksgiving morning. Uh, so stay with us. Watch. We've got a lot of shows coming this fall. And thank everybody who lets me, you know, get out here and get a chance to do this. We'll see you next week. DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Buck Yeah, Insane Archery, Ridge Runners Guide Service, Spy Point, Longhorn Fab Shop, Muddy Outdoors, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters, Strutters, Vapor Trail, and also by these fine sponsors.